Kobe, and I am the founder and CEO of the Institute for Endogenous Development, and we focus on agricultural development in Africa. I think there were a lot of key issues that were pointed out today, one being gender and the importance of mainstreaming gender and agricultural development. But in talking about gender as well, it was really the conversation about smallholders at the grassroots level. Um, since our work focuses on, you know, in, on, on Africa, that's really what I can speak most about. Um, so I think it's about gender. It's really about putting smallholders, and most of them being female farmers, um, at the center of all of agricultural development. But I think another key thing that everybody pointed out was innovation and technology and science and the role that science is going to play in this. Um, nutrition, again, was a very key issue that we should not really be thinking just exclusively about food security, but really thinking about nutrition. And I think a lot of speakers broke down nutrition in different ways, right? So you were listening to Dr. Shapiro from Mars, and he's talking about um, crop um, you know, nutrition about fortification of crops and talking about targeting 100 crops that they, fit, that they feel they need to um, boost the, you know, nutrition capacity of those crops. Um, so people point out different things and I think it's, it's going to be about innovation, it's going to be about technology. Science was a, a big theme as well, biotechnology. It's about accepting science because I think sometimes what we see in terms of the dialogue out there is people being very resistant to science and being very resistant to bi biotechnology but at the same time we have these food insecurity and chronic food insecurity and chronic hunger and malnutrition that needs to be addressed and science is going to play a very important role in innovation. So we came out of doing 15 years of work in health systems in Sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, our focus was on HIV AIDS. And you know, as you do work with HIV AIDS, initially for us, in, you know, it was really about getting medication to people, med getting medication to um, uh, women, especially between the ages of 15 and 49, because that was the demographic that was most likely to be uh, 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 impacted by HIV AIDS. But it quickly turned out that you know, one of the big things about taking HIV medication is that you also need to be able to eat healthy. And it was something that kept coming up and up again, is that for women, not only do they need to eat healthy, but the very first reason why they were able to contract the virus is because of lack of economic opportunities. The, the majority of um, uh, agricultural producers in Africa are in fact women who produce 80% of the food in the continent, and yet women are both are likely to be the ones infected with HIV, but also they're likely to be the ones um, suffering from malnutrition. And so this is how we came to agricultural development, was really realizing that we need to focus on, um, either on our side, doing advocacy for more investment going toward women in agricultural development, or for us ourselves to directly invest in rural women as a way of mitigating um, HIV. <laughs> Food security is basic to who we are. I mean, after you know, air that we breathe and water that we drink, um, the next most important thing for human survival is food. Um, and it's not just about just food as in people just want to eat. It, it, it really, you know, food is the building block of who you are as a person. We're now really beginning to understand the impact of vitamin and mineral deficiency, you know, what they also refer to as hidden hunger. And we're understanding the irreversible impact that it has in the first 1,000 days of a child's life. It can lead to stunting. It can lead to other physiological uh, damages. Um, it was, and we're understanding that you know, when a woman is, uh, is suffering from malnutrition, she's much more likely to give birth to a baby that is underweight and that is suffering from malnutrition. Um, so we're, we're really now understanding it at a basic level, that when it comes to maternal care, when it comes to newborn care, it's really about nutrition. It's about uh, uh, food security. So we know when you, if you look at the nexus of it, when you look at agriculture, you cannot separate agriculture from food security, from nutrition, from health, from human development. Human development in fact is about nutrition and food security. Mm -hmm.